Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today we have another modular building here out of from the company Morg, like the Deer's last modular for me. And I was wondering, so less fuse on the Deer's and it's so a great modular. So I hope with this modular I, we get some more fuse or if not I will order less modular buildings because I believe perhaps the time of the modulars is over. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but here we have the next one, the Science Museum. It's a licensed mock and yeah, we use, no, no, now you see the builder of the assembly. So you see all the interior and the details and I don't have to rip this here apart and to hold it into the camera, you see what's going on inside. You check the builder, uh, the pictures and we see us in a few seconds. It's done. After nine and a half, nearly ten hours, I'm finished with the five building steps. And five building steps is 
not enough for nearly 3,700 pieces. Okay, but let's go through. We have 25 centimeters in length and width. That's normal. It's a normal 32 by 32 base plate. And we have nearly 38 centimeters in height. So this is a really high building. Okay. Instructions from the back with some impressions of the interior and the LED light kit. I didn't assemble because it's a battery box with three batteries for the, the same that you use for your hearing devices. And then it's a small cable with these small LEDs and I don't like that solution. So I didn't assemble it. Okay. The assembly or the instructions are okay. Not the best I have ever seen because sometimes the angle is not so good or the colors are a little bit off. No problem, you find the right color, but they are not exactly matching. I've seen better instructions, I've seen worse instructions. What is nice with Morg that the old building steps are always desaturated or totally great in that case. So you see the color of the new ones. That's that's nicely made. That's nicely made. So you won't have any problems, but there are better instructions. So this is a licensed mock from a guy of South Korea, like Ose Young, who did the last modular uh, I showed you. Uh, this guy is called Byung Jung Park. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. My Korean is a little bit rusted. Okay, but uh, Morg, two thumbs up for working with the designers. Great, 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 great. Okay. Uh, quality of the pieces, okay, it's more. It's not the best, it's not the worst, it's average, it's okay. You don't have problems with the clutch power. We have not always the same light bluish gray. The longer bricks, the 8 and 10 or 12 ones, there are not many in the set, uh, are slightly um, the opposite of darker slightly lighter than, <laughs> than the other bricks. Okay, but like I said, clutch power, everything is okay. What is not okay, Morg, is 97 plastic bags for this modular. I opened 97, nearly 100 plastic bags for a modular. That's not acceptable, absolute not acceptable. And if you don't change this, I will not show the people more Morg sets. I buy some more, but please change that. 97. And sometimes there's only one or two pieces in a bag. Man, that is not good. What is good is that you have extra bags for all the transparent pieces so they don't have scratches. That's nice. Okay. And all you see are prints inside everything, all signs, everything is printed. Very, very cool mark. So you're on the right way. Reduce your plastic, then we are friends. Okay, uh, the design itself depends always on the eye of the beholder or on the, on the people who are looking. Uh, I built so many modulars, for me it's okay. It's nothing special, nothing super fancy. Uh, it's okay, it's an average building. Yeah, it's okay. It has no major uh, uh, design flaws or nothing special or great about it, it's okay. It's absolutely okay. So the building process sometimes very flimsy. See this here? Very, very flimsy. Always not, no connection, the pieces. Only connected with the studs on the ground and not more. So you, that's not a, a set for children to play because it will fall apart. And it's not a set that uh, um, is for children to assemble because it's too flimsy sometimes. Really too flimsy sometimes. So I don't know how, how many modulars the designer designed, but that is not so well designed in, from the stability aspect here. From the look, it's okay. Absolutely okay. But uh, from the assembly process, there are a lot where I thought this don't, ha it's not necessary to do it this way. Another thing I don't like is the usage of one by two bricks 
here, here, here. Why not use 1x4, 1x8, 1x6? So you can assemble this here, in, uh, um, not with 3700, you can assemble this with 3200. You can save 500 pieces if you use longer pieces. I don't like this to get a whole wall only with 1x2s and 1x1s. That's, that's not good. And the whole stability is leaking. Yeah? That's click, click, the same here. Because he used It's nice, okay, it's easier to, to assemble if you do it this way, no problem. But we don't have you see it here that it's I don't like this. Okay, it's the bag, but it's unnecessary. Why don't you do the whole floor, the whole story in one? I don't know. I don't know. And because uh, that's not a playset, it's not necessary to do it this way. So I don't get it what it was, what the intention of the designer was. I don't get it. Okay. And like you see, it's flimsy sometimes. Not everything. But this here, sometimes it's only on one stud. So, okay. So, from the assembly process and the overall stability, I've seen better sets. I've seen much better sets. I had more fun with other modulars during the assembly. So, this is average. In the quality, in the design, in the assembly process, it's average. I can't, see, can't say much more about it. I was, yeah, <laughs> average. <laughs> I was not super entertained. I was not super bored. I don't know. I don't know. It was, there's no emotional connection to this building. I don't know why. What I really like is the museum sign here, the brick build. That's great. That's great. Perhaps if I haven't assembled over a hundred modulus, I would say I love it. Three years ago, I would go crazy for this, but now I've assembled so many modulus, I've seen so many, but I can't say it's average. In every position, if you like it, buy it. It's, it's not a mistake, it's not a horror building, nothing. It's a little bit flimsy, but when it's finished, it's okay. Yeah, but it's, there are so many better modulus on the market. Especially from Ork, the last set I showed you, the Deers from Ose Young. Another guy from South Korea, but that's great. That's a great looking building with great building techniques and great functions. This here is an average building with average building techniques and no functions. So, okay, if you have all the other modulars, hey, it's yours. You need this one too. If you like especially this one, then buy it. It's not really bad. But it's average. And if you have only money for one or two modulars a year, there are better ones. There are better ones. Okay. Can't say nothing more. You've seen the pictures. You heard my opinion about this. So it's up to you. Thank you for watching. Next, um, I believe, is a much better set. It's a Technic set. The La Ferrari from Carter. And I believe this will be a great set. Yeah, this is average. I've seen worse. Okay, <laughs> thank you for watching. Have a good time. I'm Frank, one of your Brick Freaks, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.